In this lesson, I'll show you how to convert between newtons and pounds. You might find this helpful if you're using a scale that measures weight in newtons, and you want to see what that is in equivalent pounds. Remember, a scale is a force meter, so if you're being told that you weigh this many newtons, that same number can be converted into something that you're more familiar with, such as pounds, kilograms, and so forth. With that being said, our first challenge is to convert 340 newtons to pounds. Now there's a lot to discuss, so let's begin by writing down 340 newtons. 340 newtons is the same thing as saying kilograms times meters per second squared. Newtons is an SI unit, and SI units use metric units, such as grams and meters. So we need to convert this before we can change this into pounds, where this kilograms is in pounds, and this meters is in feet. Once we have it in those units, we call this pound force. We need to change pound force into pound mass using this conversion ratio. But first, let's make kilograms and meters into pounds and feet. There is one kilogram for every 2.2 .2 pounds. This conversion ratio can be written in two ways. We can write it down as one kilogram per 2.2 .2 pounds, or we can write it down as 2.2 .2 pounds per one kilogram. The reason why I'm telling you this is because we need to multiply one of these to this number so that we get rid of the kilograms and replace it with pounds. The one that I will choose is this version, and I'll show you why. So if I choose 2.2 .2 pounds per one kilogram, the kilogram unit will cancel out, leaving us with pounds at the top. This technique is called dimensional analysis, and I do have a video on it. The next conversion ratio converts meters into feet. Now I haven't written it down here, my mistake, but for every one meter, we have 3.28 feet, approximately that. So I'll multiply one meter at the bottom and 3.28 feet at the top. And again, the meter unit will cancel out much the same way the kilogram did, leaving us with pound feet per second squared. So let's multiply 340 times 2.2 times 3.28, and we get roughly 2,453.44 pound foot per second squared. Pounds times foot per second squared. Now I mentioned earlier that this unit is the same thing as saying pound force. So we have 2,453.44 pound force. Now that's not the same thing as pound mass. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for pound mass. We'll use this conversion ratio to convert LBF into LBM. So let me just replace this with LBF. And using that last conversion ratio, I'll multiply this by one LBM or pounds, that's what we're looking for at the top, and 32.74 LBF. Or you can write down LB times foot per second squared, but this is easier. These two will cancel out, leaving us with what we're looking for in pounds. So taking this number and dividing it by 32.174, we end up with 76 pounds, so the correct number of significant figures. 76 pounds on a scale is the same thing as saying 340 newtons. Let's do one more example, and if you still need more help, I'll show you question three in a separate video. So this time we want to convert 86 pounds to LBF. All right, so we'll write down 86 LBM. It's the same thing as saying LB for pounds, and we'll multiply this by again that conversion ratio where I'll put one LBM at the bottom and 32.174 LBF at the top. This will cancel out with that. And using our calculator, we have 86 times 32.174, and that is the value in pound foot per meter square. If you would like to see the answer to question number three, which is a little more complicated, we go from 130.4 LBF to kilograms, and only kilograms, not kilograms times meters per second squared, leave a comment below and we'll gladly upload that video. With that being said, thank you for watching, and if it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe to our channel.